Hey, 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 everybody, what's up? How's it going? I hope you guys are having a great day. So, let's get into it, right? Today I'm playing Entropia Universe. As you probably guessed, this is what my channel's mainly about. I do do some other videos, but hey, Entropia Universe is what the people want, so that's what I do. Anyways, right? So today, as the title says, I'm going to be going over the skills in Entropia Universe and sort of what they're used for. This is something I feel like a lot of new players don't get, so... I'm just going to go into it, sort of dive into like the basics of it, what they're used for, why you want certain skills, and how to skill them up. Um, if you're like brand new, you don't really care about this, but if you're if you're somewhat new, this this could be could be of use to you. All right. So first off, you've got your attributes. Okay, agility, health, intelligence, psyche, stamina, and strength. Okay. So. Uh, the big one to care about is health, but health is affected by a lot of these, like strength, stamina, agility, stuff like that. Um, the the higher these skills are, the higher health you have, and the better you'll be with. I don't I don't think inventory matters at all. Yeah, inventory is always the same. You might be able to carry a little bit more weight as your strength goes up. Um, it's also going to affect your weapons and stuff like that. I think intelligence is used used in uh, mining. Psyche is more for like mind mind force type stuff. Uh, no one really uses that much anymore. Agility, that's just running speed and stuff like that. And stamina, I'm drawing a blank on that one, but I, I don't even know how to skill up stamina, so that's not for me to answer. Someone down in the comments, let me know if you know what stamina is for. If I'm covering something wrong, let me know. Like, there's going to be stuff I'm going to get wrong. Tell me. I'm going to put it into the comments. So when you're watching the video, you're going to see something pop up that says I was wrong. I'm not afraid to call myself out on that. All right. <clears throat> Next up, right? You've got coloring or design. Okay. So these are for, like, coloring, how likely you are to be able to color something correctly. So that's when you're looking at uh, clothing, something like this. No, uh, do I? I don't even have anything that can be colored something like this right so you've got some pants these are like different because they're from way back in the past um but you go to color them the chances of you getting like 100 percent color are pretty low and the higher your coloring skill the higher your color matching skill the better you'll be at doing that textile that's again for clothes that's adding textures to clothes so that would be if you want to add something like uh, a hide not animal hide but an animal's hide to it to give the clothes sort of a texture or something like that tailoring is more of like a crafting that's for making making clothes really and texture pattern matching is along the same lines right so next up you've got combat okay like aim all these are pretty obvious aim clubs combat reflexes combat or handguns like these are all for the different types of weapons right you've got like a melee stuff you've got stuff for clubs so whatever weapon you use like when you pick your weapon you want to specialize in something so like if you look at this you can sort of tell where i specialize like aim's gonna be high if you're using guns so you know i use guns my handgun skill not too high right what's up with that so like go through this marksman that's another one you can see like range damage so you can tell i went more like ranged weapons inflict range damage i went more like long range rifles that's what i'd recommend if you want to be eco um as someone said in one of the other videos melee is really good for skilling up your attributes um so when you get into that it's something to keep in mind um yeah rifle here you go <laughs> impressive rank i don't even know what these mean uh you guys can tell i'm pretty low ranked you're gonna look at my skills and they're not too impressive anyways um support weapons like these are all different weapons different types and uh, pick, pick what you want to skill up. Like, don't do short blades, whips, and rifles because none of them are related. If you're going to do rifles, maybe skill up your handgun skills. But, like, those two are very tight, like, linked together. Light melee weapons, maybe you want to just do those. So, like, it's okay to use a rifle and a handgun. But if you're using a rifle and a long blade, the skills aren't going to interact at all. And unless you don't mind wasting the money, I wouldn't recommend it. Next up, crafting. Okay, so this is important, right? I mentioned this before when you're crafting okay you're gonna you get all these skills that help you build different things like wood processing vehicle technology that's all pretty obvious right um, a lot of people what they're gonna do is they're gonna they're gonna skill up in so BLP weapon technology laser weapon technology you get this from hunting so if you want to go that route hunting is actually gonna help you go that route it's not the most effective way to do it I believe but it's gonna help anyways um, so what I was saying is you want to go with something like this, manufacturing like electronic equipment, mechanical equipment, uh, there's components somewhere. That's where you really want to go, I think. Um, 
I do not see it in this list. Let me let me scale by points. Maybe they changed this. <clears throat> PLP Plasma. So yeah, yeah, I guess it's like manufacturing. They changed the name of it. Um, but you you want to manu manufacture components first. So what, the way this works is at a certain level you're going to unlock skills in crafting. Okay, like unique. You so the way Entropia works is you can unlock skills. Um, there's certain skills that like once you hit a level you unlock it. Okay, if you go if you go through this you're going to see some some skills I have that you guys don't. Um, so with crafting, the best way to do it. Use components, skill up to level 10. At that point, you're gonna unlock something. I forget what it's called. And then you go into your specialty. Uh, at least that was a way to do it back when I was really into crafting. Um, if it's changed, someone let me know. Again, I'll change that. Um, so evade, dodge, decoys. I, I don't recommend using decoys. Dodge is basically if someone's shooting at you, evade is if, if there's a melee attack. Um, as you can see, like I'm pretty equal in both of them because I hunt a lot of robots and I, well, not a lot. I hunt robots and I hunt mobs, just me melee mobs. Anyways, that's what those two are, pretty easy. Courage, dexterity, perception, athletics, alertness, bravado. Like these are all skills that are gonna help you with certain things. Perception, I think that's more valuable for mining. Athletics and courage, those are gonna help you with hunting. Same, I think dexterity does too. Alertness, I th I'm not sure what that does. I, it probably has something to do with radar. Like a lot of these are just for hunting. I'm sure they help in crafting in some way that I'm not sure of, maybe dexterity, I don't know. Um, but perception's a big one if you're a miner. Uh, otherwise, they're all more for like the hunters. These are just scanning skills. Um, you can get that by, just buy the scanner from the terminal, you can scan with that. If you really care about like skills and how many you have, there are some societies that limit you joining based on how many skills you have. This is a cheaper way to do it, at least initially. Um, up to you if you want to do that. <clears throat> First aid, again, this is all pretty obvious. All of it goes towards healing. Mining, right? So you've got mining. Uh, this is like for dropping pro, uh, pr uh, probes. So when you're looking for ores, that's prospecting. Surveying is when you're looking for end matter. I used to be more of an end matter guy. Now it's equaling out. Um, so those two skills are very different. Drilling and mining, I believe those are the two that are, um, that would be for when you're extracting something. Geology, that's for mining. Uh, ground assessment, that's one of those unlockable skills, I believe. And again, that helps with just generic mining. Uh, these I don't know about. Um, I think they're for like a different planet or something. I've got some skills in them. I think it's, um, I don't know where they help, but um, yeah, they're skills. <laughs> Sorry about that. But the main one to the main one to look at is surveying and prospecting. Those matter the most. Geology is a good second. Ground assessment, something you unlock, is important. And once you unlock it, you can skill it up way faster than all these. Because as you get higher and higher, it's harder and harder to skill these ranks up. Um, mining and geology, or sorry, mining and drilling are just for extraction. I really don't worry about those too much. Now, next up, science. Okay, so you got engineering, computer, mechanics, electronics. This is all. I think this is all more for like your crafter. Um, these are skills that they care about. Um, engineering and computer you do get from mining, but I do believe it still helps with crafting. Um, then you've just got a bunch of like space pilot, animal taming, botany, genetics. Um, this stuff doesn't really matter to be honest. Like there's a lot of skills in there that aren't that useful. And these are skills that I wouldn't really bother with, but I think animal lore is helped with pets, analysis, that's helped with, um, I think that's with scanning, biology is with scanning, uh, zoology, again, that's with scanning, I think by zoology might help with uh, taming, taming, that helps with taming, space pilot, um, that just helps with being a pilot, I don't, I'm sure there's some people out there who are skilling this because if you're doing like a lot of flights and there's PVP involved, it's probably good to have the skill. Botany, uh, I have no idea what that's for. Same with genetics. I think those might be for mixing DNA. Uh, you can buy DNA and then a uh, landowner might, like a landowner, right? Someone who owns a LA, which would be land area, they might be the ones that care about that because they might hire someone with a high science to mix DNA up so that they can get the best type or something like that. Um, so next up, right? 
these are all mind force skills mind force was something that was very important before vehicles came right so you had like you could teleport places you could attack you could heal with mind force you'll st you're still gonna see people skilling up in it but due to like plane or yeah due to like the spacecrafts the planes the cars the boats everything like that you don't need to teleport as much i i paid a lot of money for a teleport chip back in the day and it's useless now so it's probably a waste of money probably a bad investment um anyways that's what like telepathy electrokinesis translocation are for concentration and sweat gathering are for sweating as you can tell i did not sweat too much i sweated as little as possible and then i went into trading because i like economics anyways um these are all related to mind force and different mind force chips that you can get so this is going to help you like attack stuff with your mind force chips this is going to help you i think this is for attacking too um no one really does it it's from what i know it's very uneco so i wouldn't recommend going that route unless you want to waste money um but hey maybe you're one of those people who goes to a club and just throws money in there then mind force might be for you um okay so next up face sculpting this is all the surgery stuff so this is for changing someone's face how it looks um changing someone's body how it looks changing someone's hairstyle the uh, sorry this is for changing someone's body this one's just generic i think so you got face body generic and hair uh, this is a useful skill because every now and then you'll want to change your avatar. Maybe you're like me, you got yourself a red mohawk here. And you're sort of getting tired of it. Um, yeah. And the goatee, like, what is that about? I don't look like that anymore. I never had a mohawk, but I used to have a goatee. Uh, so maybe you want to change that, right? Then you go to one of these people, they'd skill it up so that they'd have more options. They could give you cooler faces and everything like that. It costs money. Uh, I've done it before. It's uh, if you, if you care how your character looks, it's useful. And next up, reputation and promoter rating. A lot of people don't know this. So you get reputation when you compete in events, and uh, everybody that's in the event is satisfied with how you perform. So if I'm if I'm in an event, let's say it's like a hunting event on LA. I'm hunting, I'm not stealing mobs from anybody, I'm being very helpful, everybody's happy with me, everybody likes it, they're like, this guy's a good guy, they might give me some reputation, that's how I have 101 points instead of 1,000. Promoter rating is for when you're throwing events, I've never thrown an event, so I don't have any promoter rating, right? But that could be you, like maybe, maybe you're throwing events, you want a high promoter rating because people are gonna see that and say, this guy throws good events. No one really looks at that, I don't think, but maybe a few people do. Anyways, I think, I think I've managed to cover everything. And I don't think I got too much wrong. I'm sure someone's going to comment and be like, you got this, 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 and this wrong. Boo. Um, and if I did, I'm sorry. Just let me know and I will fix it. I don't want to be throwing out bad information. I thought there was a mentoring skill, but I'm not seeing it anymore. Um, whoops. And for total skill points, that's some, That's what I was talking about. Societies care about that. I've got 43,000 total skill points, so you can tell I'm not the biggest player. I'm not spending a ton of money. I put a lot of time into this game, but a lot of the time I was just, like, when I used to play a lot, I was just in chat, chilling with people. Maybe I'd go hunting, just low level, like, low PED spend hunting, or I'd be online trading. I used to spend, like, I used to spend a lot of time in this game. Like sometimes I'd be spending like six to eight hours a day playing. This is back in like 06, 07, 08. I just like doing it. It was something fun. And like I had a society, I was talking with them all the time. It was a great time, great experience. I wanna say the best experience, but we're not gonna get into politics. Um, anyways, total skill points, that's no matter if, if you wanna join a very high up society, then, then you're playing a game more like, wow, World of Warcraft, where you've got to be online at certain times, there's team hunts, there's a lot of stuff to be involved with, but you're expected to have that minimum level of participation. I'm not into that personally, just because right now I have like a steady income in Entropia Universe, if you could call it that. I get like 60, 70, 80 PEDs a week, okay? That's from deeds and everything like that. Before, it used to be based on how well my trading was doing, how well the shop I had in Twin Peaks Mall was doing, and... Sometimes I'd make like 300, 400 PEDs in a week and that was insane and I could spend it all then and I'd go big. But sometimes I wouldn't make anything and I didn't want to hunt. So I joined a society that was uh, not about that. But 
if you do want to join one of those big societies, you want to be well known, you want to be in a lot of these big events, total skill points matters. And that's when you're going to be doing scanning and stuff like that just to get that number up. So if you're wondering how to do it, do it that way. Unless you really want to spend a lot of money because as I said, as you get higher and higher level wise, as you get higher and higher level wise, it's going to cost you more and more per point. Or not I don't I don't know if it's per point, but per level, right? And leveling up is a big deal. So anyways, that's my recommendation. That's what each skill does. Hopefully, I'm not giving out too much false information. If you guys like this video, let me know. Please, please, please like, sub, do all that stuff if you can. It always helps me get out there, especially with videos like this that might help a lot of people but aren't that like search term worthy. No one's going to search for Entropia Universe like skill overview. No one really does that, I think. Um, but I think it's helpful. Anyways, hope you guys liked the video. Peace.